Hello everyone, welcome back to Quick Programming Tips. Today I'm going to show you how to Google spreadsheet uh, using Google Apps Script code. This is uh, a question I got in the channel. Um, they're asking how can the ID of a file can be dynamic. This is be written in a Google spreadsheet. Get it from there so we can work it in the, the code instead of having the file ID hard coded as uh, my last my latest video. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do this. We are going to combine query a Google spreadsheet and get the file name using an ID that is written in Google spreadsheets. For that, I have prepared this uh, uh, Google spreadsheet. Uh, I had to write down a list of IDs. I have two files in Google Drive. This is the, the these are the IDs that they have. I need to give the tab a name, so I name this tab one. I'm, the, I'm going to show you how to get the IDs of the files in Google Drive. So this is this is the first file. We are going to have the code to get the file name based on the file ID. I double click on this, open in your window. As you can see, this ID starting in one and the last character is S, uppercase. I have written that here. And the other file that I'm going to get its name is start with one and finishes with C, which is right here. So these are dynamic. So the user can change this value anytime. I'm going to close this. <clears throat> And this is the project that I've set up for this. I have created this, uh, let me change the name. Well, actually it's there. I have this HTML. I have a button to start the process. So on, on the click event, I'm going to call this um, Google call to GS query data. I'm going to show you the uh, code in a moment. When the, it returns, it will give me this value and I'm going to attach the result to a table called table results, which I have here. And I'm going to set the inner HTML with whatever I have here. Um, this is it for HTML side. For the code, I have hard coded here the ID of the Google spreadsheet. You can have this ID from the URL as well. One through one, three key, etc. till Q O. I have written this here. So this, we are going to use this variable in a moment. So this is our, like a database. Um, so this GS query data is the process that we are calling from the HTML, well actually from JavaScript. Uh, I need a variable to get the full text. This is what we are, I'm going to return at the end. And I need a temporal variable to get the file name. Uh, the first uh, important line is we're going to create this SS variable. So we get spreadsheet app that opened by ID and we are going to use this hard coded here. Now we are going to act, set the active spreadsheet with this variable. And we are going to get all the values like this way. Spreadsheet app, get active spreadsheet. We are going to get the sheet by name. This this is why it's important to um, honor the the name we are giving here. And we are going to get the range. And after that, get the values that are going to store here. This is the full text. I'm going to initialize with the first row in which I'm going to add headers one for id one for the names so we are going through all the all the values and we are going to evaluate if i'm already in the end because right here i added i'm working in the i'm started with uh, the first row first column and we are going to the fifth row five rows and uh, one column so this is i'm going to go like all this way and if the code 
if the evaluation is if I'm ready already working on an empty cell, let's finish this process. You can do it uh, in this way or in the preferred way you want. Uh, if I'm still not reaching the end of the 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 the, the list, let's say. I'm going to get the file name by drive up, get file by ID. I'm using the, the 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 actual row, the current row, and the zero column. This is this is a zero column, and I'm going to get the name. So this is like uh, this value here is the ID that I have. So using the ID, I'm going to get the name, store it here, and I'm going to add to the full text. I'm going to add a new row. And I'm going to add the ID and the name. At the end, I'm going to return this. And this is how it works. I'm going to click Start. Here it is. I have ID and names. This is the ID that it comes from here. And this is the name that the uh, get file name is, it's get, is getting. So here it is. We have combined how to get values from a uh, Google Sheet and also how to get names from uh, the Google Drive files. I hope you like this video. Remember to subscribe to my channel, share these videos with other developers and feel free to ask anything in the comments. Well, that's it. Thanks.